back control and I drop to the side, what I want to do is bring my leg up like this uh, across the body and then I put my foot next to it. So now if you kick your bottom leg, it's, it's not going to help you get out. From here, uh, I want to keep my head nice and tight and uh, I've got no weight on this leg so I can kind of use this leg to try to trap this arm. The way I'm going to trap that arm is I come here, I get a monkey paw and I strain that arm. When I strain it, I can even use two two hands to straighten it. Um, this moves on the internet called the dismantler. Some somebody put it on YouTube. Um, so you straighten both arms. Then I use this leg. I come over. Now I take this bottom hand. I let go. And I grab my own shin. And I put my heel to the body. I use the other hand that's still got the monkey paw, and I, I bring it up. I bring that up. I grab hold of it, turn my hand onto my own shin, and I send it behind the back. Now from here, there's only one hand versus two hands, and the chin versus my hand. So he, he's still got one hand to defend and one chin to defend. I've got two hands to kind of work on it. From here, I might have a lot of trouble getting hold of this. So I want my head nice and tight. If this hand isn't here and I can sink it in straight away, or maybe his hand's here, but he's not strong enough. I can grab a grip like this and bring the elbow at the back and just use strength to get it. Sometimes I have trouble with the really strong guys, so I'll grab their head, I pull it over, and I try to choke the other way. So I'm using my head to push him into the choke. Because if I try to choke with this arm, it's not going to work because my own head's in the way. So just say he's hanging on to me nice and tight. I can't get up and like grab his head, pull it up and then I'll sink him, the choke on the other spot, and I'll finish it. Uh, that's, that's about all I've got.